Hola a todos, mi nombre es Carlsen. Escondí un tesoro y lo escondí muy bien. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Carlsen. Escondí un tesoro y lo escondí muy bien. Hola a todos. see the title of the video is about uh, the en the end of the forest fence chase well the whole chase is about his his life you know being born and growing up and and the adventure and the fishing and the, and the art gallery and the artifacts and and all of that stuff and uh, you know he sold his gallery and he can't really get out there and and uh, do his treasure hunting like he used to, you know. And so he created this uh, is partly to entertain him uh, to the end of his days and and uh, and uh, complete his story. Uh, there's something about the what was it the catcher in the rye. Had, or was it Gatsby? One of them books had like 40 different endings. And he says, Well, you've, um, so you found it, but there's only the, the only problem is there's 40 of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's 40 of the symbols out there, and you don't know which one of them is the one hiding the treasure. And, and you, and then you look for more and look for more. And, um, I got 22,000 pictures I to get me where I'm at. And anybody trying to catch me is going <laughs> to have to do about the same thing. Uh, because the exact location of these rocks I've been showing and stuff, I don't, I don't give that out exactly the precise location of them. But I'm kidding it about the general area. Um, does anybody know? Comments at all, and uh, buddy Lou and 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 Ronnie, they 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 know I'm on it. They know I'm close. Hey Jimmy, there's a good Jimmy and there's an evil Jimmy in there. <laughs> uh, you gotta watch out for some of the Jimmys. <laughs> they might try and Jimmy your solutions. But I took my hat off my elephant mask, so because I like this hat, I got it in Quartzsite. At the they have like a flea market there in Quartzsite, and got from a Mexican gentleman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you missed the chant. <laughs> Already played it <laughs> at the beginning. And you know, some of the other music you've heard on my thing that I've played, like the searching, searching, you know, the follow the sun thing. Uh, and uh, uh, it's a wonderful world song and all that. You know, I got a notice, fake notification from YouTube. What the notification says, there's nothing you need to do, you know. You're not monetizing. So, you know, it's a copyright thing, except... They let you keep the music on there and they give the money to the band or, or the label that you've used their music. So that's okay, you know? 
So I'm making money for the band. None, not for me. And, and there are people claiming that, that I'm out here trying to make money off it and bull. They're full of it. I ain't made a penny off any of it. Uh, you know, I get a discount on my shirts when I get my own shirts. That's about it. You know, and my art is not you know, it's not from the book. It's it's what I found, the book sent me to, what I found looking for. But it's my art and my photographs. And I, am I allowed, I'm allowed to make money on that. <laughs> Venues or bars to play ASCAP fee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the jukebox, I'm sure. That's why they got the jukebox. And, but, uh, um. Sometimes people get a knock when their own band sounds just like the original. And they say, no, 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 this is us playing it. <laughs> you know? Venues, bars, big whoopee. Um, and I noticed my one video didn't get any knocks from the concert. Because it's uh, slightly off from, from the original recording, you know? And, uh, you yeah, know, what happened here, man? I've been laying out in the sun getting moldy, man. <laughs> um, oh, straighten out the peace pipe. I just moved the RV today. Guess why things are out of whack like that. <laughs> and uh, it Jack, he's right there at my feet. <laughs> uh, I had some people come up. I shouldn't flew blindly into the woods like that. There was a hill going up like this out there, you know, uh, like a 45 degree angle from, I, I was up high and I shot down into the ground out there uh, where I could see. And there was nothing. My dog was off behind me a hundred feet or so. And I shot into the ground up there. And there are people because the GoPro is so wide, fish-eyed, and it's distorted, and they can't see that that's a lot closer than what they're, you know. And 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 then their imagination, I'm being careless. No, I looked, and there was, you know, what whatever was over there was over there. I fired the gun to scare off the wild critter, whatever it was, because you don't want to tangle with it, okay? Uh, you guys with the balls that want to go mess with the with the cat mountain lion or bobcat or something, then okay, I'll, you, I'll, I'll let you go chase the beast down. You know, you go have fun with it. But I'm gonna I, I, for safety, I scare them off. <laughs> um, I shouldn't be pixelating. I paused my download that I've been downloading since noon yesterday what is it it's 5 16 today so yeah i've been downloading for 29 hours to get it's a uh, five gigabytes total and uh i've got two files left <laughs> i'm downloading the bonus features it's a 2.13 gigabytes at well it's not doesn't have any speed now but because uh, i got it i got it paused so that i could stream but when it's running it's like it's running bytes a second b per second and occasionally it gets up into the kilobytes per second and that's verizon 1995 Dial up is back. Just call Verizon. They'll set you up with a 1995 dial up cell phone. You, you can run it on your 4G phone, you know, because they got people that need stuff at 90 megabytes a second. Nobody needs that. I, I mean, maybe, maybe Air Force One might need that, but I mean, I'd take care of all of Air Force. You, you know, how you, you could. You could be watching about 30 videos a time at a time at that speed. 
<laughs> Nobody needs that. I told Verizon, give us all five, 10 megabytes a second. We'll all be happy and nobody will be interrupted. <laughs> when you're running people at 90, you're interrupting the rest of us, you know, that are just trying to watch a video or something, you know, it's ridiculous. Uh, what it was a couple of years ago, they turned up the speed from 26 megabytes a second to 90 megabytes a second. And then they started having data problems. All the networks started having data problems because people are trying to pull their data in too fast. It, it's like, uh, uh, stuffing in a, uh, iceberg into an ice chipper. That's made to handle a block of ice, you know, <laughs> You can't take it all at once. It can take a little at a time, but it can't take that big load, that, that high-speed uh, people running at, at, at 90 megabytes a second when all they need is five. You're just creating a big traffic jam. And, and their executives, they have their head in their butt as far as uh, technology and, and what data numbers mean. They don't even know the math, you know. They got higher accountants. They're just the people that run the company. <laughs> and they, they're brainless when it comes to what, 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 given everybody 70 meg, 90 megabytes a second does to everybody. It, it, it creates a traffic jam. Nobody needs their data that fast. At 10 megabytes a second, you can watch four videos at a time. So there's nobody needs 90. <laughs> um, and then they got you know you upload and they slow you down terribly it's just stupid I mean if you want to be a good phone company and get good ratings make your customers happy don't don't screw with their time and their and their patience <laughs> you screw with the customer's patience and, and, and you're going to have a whole lot of customer service calls I mean, they could probably cut their customer service staff in half if they just slow the data speed, you know. Instead of this, how you know how many how many gigabytes of data you get unlimited? Instead of that, they need to just make it unlimited and charge you for the speed you want. You know, I'll pay for ten megabytes a second, but I don't like paying for 90 megabytes a second and getting you know, getting my speed measured in k but we get it back to the back to the hunt and, uh, uh, any uh, values venues bars as cap yep 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 that's freaking ridiculous yeah yeah they they yeah i got some respect from men are so smart they're not girly men <laughs> They're not girly men. They're smart. They they see what I see. And, and, and what, what a lot of my critics haven't noticed is Forrest likes my art. Forrest sees what I see. So if Forrest sees what I see and you don't see what I see, you are not thinking like Forrest. <laughs> and that's the whole thing. You got to think like Forrest. Yeah, think like a man. You don't not you don't you don't put on girly pants and and and, and think you're thinking like Forrest. Okay, you gotta put on the man pants. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and it, it, it and then there's a oh well, I don't even mention that. But if you look at what was it, my last video and and uh, the comment from the moderator of the of the uh, Brady Bunch. My God, yeah, you, you know. Uh, and I did uh, my my rant video to them. I, I set it to private. You know, it was out there long enough. They know that that they that it, it, they're the bullies. That the they're the playground bullies. It, it, you find them everywhere. You know. And then they go work for the government and think that they're high and mighty and, and they can step on anybody they want and and uh, disrespect people. I'm I'm the one closest to it. No nobody nobody else uh you know. 
And I'm giving it a little time for whatever that animal was. Give it a couple days to get out of that little area there, you know. <laughs> yeah. Double blaze is just a rock formation. It looks like a far hearth. It has uh, like red ochre in there to make it like, like it's on fire. That's a lot of the other thing. A lot of this stuff I found is is colored and pretty and um you know uh hmm. sort by date. Oh, it was. Oh, there we go. So uh. Yeah, I've been making uh making some art and reviewing my pic. The, the the photos are important, <laughs> and you take a picture. You might not see it in that rock when you're right there, but when you get home and you're looking at it at night and you're examining it and you you give it the magic eye look, you know, kind of blur it, zoom out, zoom in slowly, and, and see what figures are in there. And there are there are many. Many, many, many figures. Uh, I like. Uh, oh, I'm gonna turn this around. Show you. What am I? See, like that's a skull, but it's not a skull. It's not actually a skull. Where's my pointer? See, I, I I drove my RV and my pointer's on the floor on the other side of the room. Because <laughs> I drove my RV. But what we got, you see his teeth? See, his, he's got teeth even. Da, 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 da. And an eye, and eye. But what you don't see is this is an elephant head. And this is the elephant trunk coming around down under here. That's an elephant there. And this is an elephant eye. See, there's a head there. And there's a head here. This is a man. This is a woman. And they got their arms stretched out and wrapped around this mammoth figure. And it's also a skull. So here we have a skull with a woman, a man, and a mammoth. This is a Clovis monument or tomb. Well, I got to move my thumb. I got a magnet thing on the back of my phone so I can hold it without touching the screen. The screen wraps around the edges. I mean, it's like, come on, man. They, they want you, you, you know, that's, you know, when your phone's doing stuff in your pocket, I call that, it, it, the, the phone's masturbating, you know, <laughs> it's doing pocket calls and I can zoom in here to these, but yeah, see, these are, these are the faces of the people and this is their arms stretched across and they're hugging this elephant. And what's a striped face down here? You, you know, that's maybe the end of his trunk or something. I don't know. This is the the art rendition of it. The the stone. I put the stone in, and I have an art program color it. It uses the same lines and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Did you send me some articles, Whoopi? I'll have to look. Whoopee! Here's something my grandpa, great grandpa says. Uh, this uh, here, you see, you see these two faces right here. There's a face in there, and they're facing each other, you know. But but the art program really took that out, took out a lot of stuff that was there. Um, what do we have? It's a mammoth head, as best I can tell. <laughs> This is a by the blaze. Could be a blaze, you know. Um, very cool stuff, though. <laughs> you see, you see this elephant head. See, there's an eye, and it curls down. There's the trunk coming down. 
Uh, here's the man. He's his two eyes and his smile over here. And, and there's another person back in here. You see the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And there's a person sitting here. You see the shoulder and the arm. There's somebody back here. And this is the mammoth head. Uh, I'll check that, Whoopi. <laughs> Um, so here you see a couple, you know, a couple of mammoth heads here. And there's somebody laying in here, an arm coming over. Here's another mammoth head back there. And you see somebody there with their knee up. And there's, see the head here? And here's her breast. <laughs> I'll zoom in. So that's somebody sitting there. Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, I've, I've got after, you know, I got to do some more searching. I'm not done yet. I, it, you know, it could be it's a, a contest to find this art in nature. Now look at that. He's a blaze, ain't he? Look at that golden guy with his arm up. Things going on over here. Um, uh, yeah, I've basically found Wonderland. Uh, there you see the big elephant head in the trunk coming down. But there's always uh, figures hugging the front of the mammoth head, you know? Here's, see, here's people along in there that art program really uh there's my uh clovis man and and you see he's he's a mammoth with the trunk coming down this is a mammoth the eye and the white is but it's also a face looking straight at you it's a face looking that way and there's a face looking that way it's just multiple they, they come from a picture of a rock man <laughs> Woohoo! Fancy stuff. You see, there's somebody standing in there. There's magic stuff happening there. Uh, well, Forrest talks about the uh, Kiwana Parker. And he went to the Indian church, the Church of the Peyote. This is what he was talking about. <laughs> There's figures in there. And there it is. <laughs> For whom the bell tolls. Oh, what did I do? Back, back, back to the bell. So... You see here, here's a hand. This is a hand. These are fingers. This is the bell. This is the bell being held by the hand. And it's ringing it. Also, the hand could be a catcher in the rye. It could be a baseball mitt. <coughs> but there's a hand for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for me. But the story isn't over. The chase isn't over until after Forrest breathes his last breath. And so, even though I may have found all these, his trove in nature, I have to wait for the cold, for his blood to go cold. And when it does, then you get the title. It's worth the wait, the cold, the, the cold shoulder. That's why he said he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't, uh, it was why he, the comment about meeting the person who uh, finds it, you know? But that's for whom the bell tolls. That's the bell in the hand. Yep, I'm, I'm telling you all what's happening here. Huh? And these colors, man, it's pretty.
Yeah, that's, it, you know, it's a gray rock. Those are gray rocks. And, and the, the, the stuff over here on the outside is trees and stuff. But these are rocks. And, and look at the... Kid right there. Is he, like, in the ear of this thing? Is that so listen all and hear me good? Is this a head, too? And he's putting something in the ear. Or is that the, you know, and he said the bell rang, the phone rang at the end of the hallway. Well, the phone had a bell in it, you know, so this is maybe the bell at the end of the hallway. So, um, I go down that hallway. Uh, you know, is it in the kitchen? Is it in Forrest's room? Uh, you know, I find the uh, the blaze and all that. Uh, these other omegas and signs and this is really cool, though. Yeah, yeah, wow. Um. So yeah, and I, I'm a, you know, I'm I'm printing some these as I can. I print a few and stuff. And I'm trying to get get. Uh, enough printed and all and start a gallery close to where I'm searching. This is on the double omega rock that's behind the bell, um, up in the woods behind the bell. And this is, see, there's like a head there, dance, he's dancing. This is knee up. This is, this is like the, oh, my finger's dragging it. Uh, this is like the lumberjack with his knee up on the stump, you know? And this is where I was when something freaked out Jack. I, I was at this rock when, when something freaked out Jack. See, they go to the next one. Oh. Okay, and this one is really cool because you can see the mammoth head here on the bottom. This is an eye like right here. And this is a mammoth head. But at the top, this is a man and a woman. It's a couple. They're standing there. And there's things going on inside. But and then this is the mammoth head at the bottom. See the ear here and there's somebody idling outside parking. I'm not. I'm not up in the woods. I had to move. I, you have to go at least thirty miles. So I'm. Uh, I've moved away. Yeah, yeah, you know, if I wanted to print some up to start a gallery, it's a, uh, at least a couple hundred bucks a piece to print these onto canvas, you know, unless you don't print them very big. You got people with their bicycles in their truck. They're going to go bike riding out here. And, and where I'm at, there's uh, some formations outside that are pretty cool so yeah see see this is a face in here it's just weird 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 stuff <laughs> that's a big head on this see you see the chin here and then no it's a profile this here's his nose his eye but he's got stripes war paint Um, here you see the elephant, the eye, the trunk, you know, but it's a man. See, there's a guy standing there. Uh, and there's somebody next to him. Um, do you see the elephant head here? There's figures back here this is that's that uh one big omega rock now this one's cool see because this is a, a mammoth here and this is his trunk here's a princess hugging them at the mammoth trunk hugging the mammoth <coughs> and there's other people back here Let's see and there's another mammoth 
behind this mammoth. So. Might be a guy here with her. Um, that's a cool spot. Walk through there. It's just some of the art I've made from. Here you see faces. You know, see, there's a face here. There's another one here. No one back there. <coughs> yep. Yeah, I gotta find where to print them cheap. Um, I've been printing eleven by seventeens on uh, Vista Print. Now you see, I go back. As you can see, what the art does a little different treat, but it's the same design in there, kind of. You know, the same, the same shapes. Uh, what was that? I don't know. You know, there's elephants. There's always elephants. Oh, this is, this is a head. This is a head. These are two people, one on each side. And they're elephants, and there's another head in the middle here, you know. But and these are two elephant heads with their trunks intertwined in the middle, and and there's somebody down here, and there's a head there, <laughs> another one up here, another one back there. It, it they didn't leave any of the rocks alone. <laughs> See there, oh that was. We'll go back. Look at the teeth on that thing. These are the ma or these are the mammoths too. But there's a mammoth eye. This is a you know. So his trunk is curled back, or I don't know. Oh, we got the uh, Nice and green. Oh, I know what these ones were. They didn't come out good in the art. They was better on the raw rock. So I, these are just the art ones. This is a head. You see the nose and the mouth and the eye, you know. And I don't know what this little guy was. This guy just showed up there. I don't know. Looks like a... You see they're kneeling and with their hands up. It's woman, I guess. In red. Um... <laughs> so yeah that's a, enough of my art there it's getting hot I gotta turn on my fan Woo. it's uh 82 that's about as warm as I like I don't like it over 90 <laughs> um cause I got a bad thyroid and my body temperature doesn't regulate right, and um, I, I, it gets too hot, and I, I you know, I can, well, you just gotta lay down because <laughs> I'm worthless when it's hot. Um, I think it's he might have slid it under a log, and the log rotted and deteriorated on top of it. Um. I didn't, I went up there with my metal detector and I searched in that cave that I, little cave house. I put my metal detector, nothing in there. And there's a little hole in, in the back that, I went and took my metal detector and I stuck the whole thing in there. About four feet. And my arm, it went all the way to the wall in the back and. I put my flashlight in the hole and looked in there. There's nothing in there. But it's still a rock that's below the one. What I call the, uh, the double omegas. 
uh, the double omega bullseye, mammoth bullseyes. And since I'm not pixelating, it might show up. Get on the screen. Let's see there. Okay. There's my double omega mammoth bullseyes. These are the eyes. I won't show you my design on my key because you can then you can steal my car. So I'll show you the side. Okay, so but this is an eyeball. Here's an eyeball on another. This is another mammoth. His head curving there. And the eye of that mammoth. Here's the eye. You know, this is a mammoth head. And this is an eye. So here's two mammoths. And they make omegas. But you see there's actually more than two. Um, but they they make up, you know, oh, two omegas. The mammoths are megafauna. And then down here is this guy here. See, arm up there and arm over here. It's like the pen with the fishing pole position, you know, on the cover of Once Upon a While. But, and so if he has a fishing pole, then his line goes up here and down here. And right over here, this is where I was when, when whatever scared Jack. I was right there in the prime spot and and then I you know after that I went up on top of the rock so I could see if there was any cat coming around or mountain lion and um, but there's all kinds of stuff on this rock see that's even a head this is like a hat and there's a face in there. there's a face up here there's face on that rock. There's figures, human figures in here. See, this is there's an eye and eye, a nose and a mouth. There's people up in here. See. Other head. Here's somebody standing. Look, look at that one's pretty clear. See this forehead, nose. This is a head here. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff stuff growing, you, you know. It, it, it needs restored, a restoration. This stuff has been sitting out there for 14,000 years. Honeydews. And then there's these three figures down here. I think the one in the middle is a mammoth. And somebody said this one here was shaped like a fish. This one on the right, that third one. But you see there's figures behind him too. There's this face here and there's another face back here. This is somebody standing in there. There's somebody saying, see, but there's lichen. This orange doesn't belong there. So if you clean that off, these black lines would connect. and So that's, you know, somebody standing there with their arms up. You got stick figures and but that's the mammoth eye that's the eye of the mammoth and look what's in the eye of the mammoth there's figures sitting in here here's like Buddha sitting in there with his hand up waving This is in the eye, and it also looks like tusks, right? These look like curved tusks, but it's the eye of the mammoth. Uh, that, that mammoth. So that double blazes, or that's double omegas. <laughs> double blazes. <laughs> we didn't, no double blazes today. I got an FU from Jimmy Fast, though. Boy, just look at my last video, Jimmy Fast. You know, look, you find he wanted me to find a different, a new solve. You know, they, they don't like somebody that's a winner. You know, 
Losers don't like winners. <laughs> okay. So what else we got in the panorama thing? See, here's a... <laughs> That's what that was. You see the head on the right? <laughs> There's a guy sitting in the right. And there's figures inside here. <coughs> See, there's about four heads in there. Five. <coughs> and the big guy on the right. And there's a couple back there. But they're in there. <laughs> and these are the, the raw images. These are before. Now, this looks like a girl sitting down here, right? She's sitting here. And blowing all these stars and magic dust out here, and there's a face in it. <coughs> He's like the genie in the bottle. And this is like Alice in Wonderland sitting down here, in her in her blue dress, and her she's got a black vest and this coney hat. But this orange stuff is lichen, so you know, like the orange, and some of this is lichens on her dress, but. But, you know, they're, it's distorting what's underneath it. But it, it's still you can still see what's underneath the lichens. There's enough sticking out. <coughs> you see here, this is, this is from one, two, three, at least four pictures to make that want, you, you know. And the computer, I tell the computer, find all the pictures that fit together and, and put them together, you know. So it uh, does these, but there's figures in there. Hey, Jason, showing some of my uh, pictures. <laughs> See, now, yep, I try and get up here because when you get up here, this, all of these things. You see, there's a big head right there. And there's another one right... There's another head next to him. These eye holes. And these are, look like teeth across here. But... You know, the, see, there's a mural on there. But I'm too far away. You see, it's way back there. I got other pictures of it probably from other angles. This is in the eye of the mammoth. Now, we got to look in the eye of the mammoth. Because eyes, eyes give you title to the gold. I give you title to the gold. All right? So, he does. He gives you title, but... You see, this is another one. The computer put the pictures together. So I've got more of that. But. He said you don't have to break any. So you don't have to break these rocks. I'm, I'm wondering if not breaking anything includes breaking ground. See, there's a, somebody standing in here. Somebody behind them. And they're holding somebody. Maybe somebody that died. And they're taking them to their tomb. Who knows? I'm guessing. Um, you know, that's some stuff. These these are interesting to me. These are got to be figures. I'm not getting the right angle. But. And I've been. I've been up in here. I've been up here. I've got to go up there, you know, maybe search in there again. And my, this is from one of those pictures that put them all together. And so I did notice I, I, I cut the, I cut a tree line in there. So there's actually a hill there. There's a hill here. So I, I've changed the lands, you, you know. The background, this guy added more. See, it was like that. It was like that. And to get rid of this choppy and make it blue sky. 
I did that to it. <laughs> You saw the face there, I'm sure. This face over here on this side. And there's a bunch of stuff in there. See, there's four people in there. There's somebody over Oh, this is the girl. See? And she's got this cone-shaped hat. But she sees there's like lichens growing on her hat, and they, they had some interest, they had interesting effects to it. But it, the lichens need cleaned off so they can see what's really there. And that's the dancing Indian on the double omegas. Don't, 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 don't. Now that's a. And this guy's playing the drum. See, he's playing. This is his drum. He's beating the drum, and this guy's dancing over here. And he's looking back over his shoulder. And yeah, that's the one I've turned into. I call it Clovis Party. <laughs> These are all just images of that. That's a tall thing. But there's... See, there's a girl's face here. There's... They're like cartoons on there. There's other figures in there. Oh. Fingers sore from holding this. So I can't find my little tripod thing. This one's really cool. See this guy's face over here. I'm pointing at his nose. There's a face there looking to the right. Okay. Here's his body cut. But this is a mammoth head. And the trunk curls down and goes up to him. See, there's a mammoth there. And then there's other people inside here. <laughs> yeah. And that's the raw image. Uh, just with saturation and shadows increased to, in, in brightness so that you could see. Because this was all black until I brightened it up. Uh, I don't know what it was. I, I, I suspect it was probably a cat. Uh, the bears. I mean, a bear. I would have heard a bear, I think. You know? The, a, a cat would be would get out of there real quiet. <laughs> Cats are sneaky and all that. But uh, I can show you where I'm at. Yeah. Oh, we'll go outside. <laughs> I'm not going to show you my floor. I look at my floor. I'm not going to show you my floor. <laughs> when you drive the RV, stuff on the counter is off the table. All falls on the floor. And then when you open the slide out, you got half the floor is clear. And the other half of the floor is all the stuff that fell off the counter or off the table. Or out of the cupboard. I got the cupboards closed, so it ain't nothing fly out of the cupboards. But, uh, yeah. Um, you can smell, but uh, he, he might, whatever it was, he knows what they smell like now. Um, uh, I'm here, and I've been up, up there. I've seen a rattles. There was a rattlesnake up there, and that's 8,300 feet up there. I got my cell phone tower over there. <laughs> and I got these rocks around here. And there's actually right up there. I'll switch this around. Right up there. Where is it? Yeah. And the text pops up on top of it. Right there you see a, like a tooth looking thing. Um, where is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where it is. Okay, so it should be right in here. It's a tooth looking thing. There's a elephant there, and there's that tooth looking rock that was an elephant, 
I think. Right there. But uh, yeah, I went up there. I want to go visit this one little tree over here. One tree up there that has a trunk. <laughs> but when you go up the top, this is like a saddleback hill up here. And, and there's a square pit up there that, that's like uh, maybe six feet square and ten feet deep. Perfectly square. But uh, those are the San Juan Mountains. Uh, well, uh, you know, I'm in the San Luis Valley, and uh, Marvy, see my car is still hooked up on the back. Dirty is when you, you know. Look at this. <laughs> it's a mile. For about two miles of dirt road will do. Um, if it's more than that, you don't want to. And uh, I need something that, that covers. If you have something that covers the front end of the car, it's even better. Um, but I know, you, you know the, the uh, skirt things? Like I got this skirt thing. And I used to get all kinds of, uh, the skirt used to go all the way across but when I got rid of the two pieces on the ends I quit getting rocks up on my up on my hood and my windshield of <laughs> my car <laughs> what's your hat today yeah this one <laughs> my uh, Panama Jack oh yeah and I got you see I found this uh, where is he standing up there? I found a one elephant, the stuffed one. I found that hunting up near Salida. I didn't know the elephants. Elephants are nature's treasure. And so I didn't know that the elephant I found near Salida was was a clue until I'm down here. Oh, well, the elephants are, the mammoths and the elephants are a clue. So... Yeah, he goes on my head. I put him up there. People are wondering, what the? F yeah, well, you know, you don't have to be like everybody else. Oh, that rock looks sharp on the edge, but it's a fat rock. Um, there's a sign when you come in here that you're not allowed to take any rocks. You have to leave all the rocks here. <laughs> So it's like, uh, oh, can I have my rocks that I brought with me stamped? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm looking for Arrowhead, you, you know. I said, I, I got to spend two weeks here, except I can go up up there and uh, treasure hunt. I'll, I'll go up there probably uh, two or three times a week and, and search. But... Uh, <coughs> I'll be here with Jack. <laughs> and I kind of park where I, I, I didn't, because there's rattlesnakes around here, and so he's on the, thank God, I don't want him going out and finding a rattlesnake and, and causing me a big vet bill, <laughs> you know. So he has to be on the leash. Oh, man. You know, that almost looked like an arrowhead, but it's fat. <laughs> See what I mean? Um, I'd like to find some arrowheads. And there's asphalt here. Somebody dumped some asphalt, but this is BLM land. So, uh, and it's the same as for us. Four, fourteen out of uh, thirty. And if it's a state-run BLM, then it's 14 out of 45. <laughs> yeah, the state guys are a, a, a little more uh, anal, I guess. <laughs> you know, what are you hurting? Um, 
Yeah, you know, I try to find some. You know, somebody got some real estate that they uh, they don't want intruders coming and stealing all their wiring and stuff. It's like, hey, I, I go park my rig over by your place and keep an eye on it. Nobody will come around because I'll be there watching it. You know, and so uh, you know, if you got a a property that's not being watched after, you know, is that hurt? I, you know, I live in my rig. I don't have to live in somebody's place, but, you know, it's nice to have a hookup or something. Um, yeah, I'd stop and get, I'd put, put enough gas in. I put a half a tank of gas in. That was 70, and it didn't even go to half a tank. <laughs> when, when, when it's on the empty, it has 25 gallons in it still. Um... <laughs> because I've uh, I've put 75 gallons in the tank before, and that's when it's about empty. When when it's when it just gets down to the red line, it, it'll only take like uh, 60 or 50, 60 gallons. But this thing's a gas pig. But I I say that he's you, you know we're we're Right in the end of his story, the end of the chase. Completing Forrest Fenn's story, the chase, from from beginning of the rainbow to the end of the rainbow. And actually there's several rainbows, there's several entrances and exits. Each rainbow is an entrance and an exit, and that's why he brings up that stuff. Here's the other side. Uh, well, I haven't seen gone over to those rocks yet, but I've been like because uh, you know, like I said, there's a, there's some couple elephants over here, and so the stuff is they didn't stop the uh, the archaeologist, the anthropologist, archaeologist at the uh, at the college at the university here. He says they find all kinds of stuff over by Mount Blanca, uh, the artifacts and stuff. But he and, you know, I'm the first one to find clover, or Forrest is. Me and Forrest are the first ones to find, actually identify it as Clovis art. Uh, one gallery I stopped in, I showed him my pictures with the, the boy and the girl climbing on. Hey, have you seen this before? Oh, yeah. I don't think he's seen it before. Some people are full of, you, you know, it's like, where'd you see it before? If you've seen it before, you know where it is. No, oh, I don't know where that is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> um, but this stuff is spread out over the whole course. But there's the beginning and the end. And I'm in the end zone. So I'm not... Uh, I don't know. Let me get a good question. Uh, or mammoth, though. Mammoths or elephants? Elephants or mammoths? Mammoths, there were no elephants ever here. There were mammoths here. So, you can call them an elephant if you want. It doesn't matter, you know? It's like, uh, you know, a cherry tomato and a big old California tomato are both tomatoes. Tomato, tomato, it don't matter. It's the same thing. What is it, Jack? What is it? What is it? Did you see something? Nothing there. There's no hole there. <coughs> Oof. Something over <coughs> on the rocks. Oh, he just thinks he's, you know, he's, he, he's, he, he's a boy too, you know? <laughs> He's letting him know this is his spot now. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good dog. Aren't you, Jack? Huh, buddy? What is it, Jack? Ah. Uh.
<laughs> yeah, when I replay that video where, where whatever freaked him out, that freaks him out again. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Something scary. <laughs> warning, warning. He ran by doing 100 miles an hour. So, I think I'm about done. I got an hour. So, I think I'm about done. Maybe I... Uh, I, I got some editing to do. I've got some other videos maybe put up. And, and I got high speed internet again. T tomorrow's my. I'm back on the high speed. They got me on the low speed. It's so stupid. Yeah, you know. Just mess with his time. You know, that's what it's about. They're messing with your time. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep, I'm going to finish downloading. I'm downloading the uh, new Corel uh, video, studio, video Studio Ultimate 2018. And, I mean, you don't have to pay a monthly fee or nothing. You own it. You know? and, and you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to go online to use it. And, uh, uh, you know, Adobe, Adobe just got greedy oh what, what, we're gonna have the software here and you can't and and then half the software is on your computer and half of it's online you can't get online you can't do your work you know and i'm, I'm i travel I, i'm i'm off a lot of times sometimes where there's no connection at all so i, I still want to do my video editing or whatever and i'm looking at the wall of rocks over here and it's like oh man I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be taking a little hike hike down the canyon along that and uh get pictures all along that I think in the morning when, when the sun's shining on it. And, and then in the evening or just after sunset I'll wanna get some pictures because you want pictures of it. I I see stuff in there. Um yeah, it does the the artwork doesn't end up there, but the I'm pretty sure that the poem ends there. I found the I, where 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 I found that bell, that hand holding the bell. That's the end zone. That it's right near. It's near there. Gotta be. Uh, the Clovis Point in the ribs of the Mammoth is several miles away from there, and so is the totem. And the gypsies are even further away, you know. But I think the bell is is at the end of the tunnel, the end of the hallway, the hallway, the tunnel at the end of life, you know. And it's about the end of his life. And, and um, you know, nobody's going to be a winner in, in, until he's gone, And I, I think, and... and in his will, he'll 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 tell everybody who won. And I won't tell you who I think that might be. <laughs> everybody get mad at me if I if I told them who that might be, who's won, you know. <laughs> uh, if I make it out there this summer, uh, it, yeah. Yeah, that's so, old, old Lou, Lou, Ron. Hey, you guys, take a trip out here. I'll, I'll show you the whole. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you everything except the very end, <laughs> which is quite a bit of stuff. I mean, I'll show you his pile of airplanes, his, his, uh, the double blazes, the the ones in the rock, not on, not the ones on the end of my hands, <laughs> and the. Uh, um, the big eagle on the side of the hill, the, the, uh, Clovis point in the ribs of the mammoth, the Clovis stone, the fence totem, uh, forest fen falls is the, the waterfall that I call forest fen falls. That's something that you want to see in May or June. You want to see that in May or June, um, early June, uh, during the spring runoff, because right now it's, uh, it's after spring runoff and, and it's pretty much a trickle. So, 
but when it's spring runoff, it's that beautiful waterfall that's in my video. I see these flat rocks look like they're some type of, you know, might be a point or something, and they kick them in their fat stones. Because <laughs> I don't want to bend over and pick them up unless it's something worth picking up, you know? <laughs> uh... But, uh, you know, they say the crystals hold memory and stuff like that. And you hear the Akashic crystals and whatever that hold the records of the earth. And <coughs> um, these rocks on this hill are pretty much, seem pretty much alive. You, 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 if it wasn't carved by ancient people, then then the the earth has spirits also and and that's why well, it's a very spiritual place that's you know that's what makes it special to it, it, it there isn't a place like this anywhere it, I, nobody you can't look it up people oh i can't find anything about that on the internet no because it's a discovery you dum-dums <laughs> yeah. and, and there's a big uh Oh, uh, say, say if it does get recognized and it became a national park, there'd be so many pissed off hunters. <laughs> and none of them want to say that that's there. But, you know, there's plenty of animals in other places. <laughs> but it, it is a beautiful spot. Oh, okay, I'm done. Anything I miss here? Jimmy Corner, Luke, Jimmy Corner. Oh, there's some, yep. Um, yeah, I sent, I sent old Lou a, 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 a Facebook message to my number so you can give me a call if you want. I'm not a morning person, so don't call in the morning. <laughs> uh, it takes me till noon before... I can, you know, see more than through more than a slit in my eyes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and then, and then once I wake up, it's hard to go back to sleep. <laughs> so, so I'm usually up late, like uh, you know, two or three in the morning. And the bad days, like, oh shoot, the sun's coming up. I better go to bed. Or my weather station, it it set itself the eastern time zone and. And was shown two hours later, and I gotta go back in that canyon over there too. There's a canyon down there, yeah. So uh, yeah, I got a little, you know, when when I'm not treasure, I, I go exploring these other places. I go camping, um, and I'm looking for this for anything like that out here. Anything that's art, art looking, rocks or anything. Uh, but I know that there's that one mammoth up there. The trunk comes out, and you can go walk around behind the trunk, kind of. That's one of those. It's that much of a uh, elephant rock. And the one rock, it's standing up there. It looks like a tooth with a single root. And it's just got a big, you know, it's like a little narrow thing going in the ground. And, and then there's this big bulb up on top. Maybe I'll do a video from up there. Uh, here I can live stream because I got... The tower's right there. <laughs> right there is the tower. <laughs> so, y'all take it easy. Have a good day.